Chris, you're one of the directors of ANC Precision. Where are we? What's the company? Um, you're in Dundee, uh, ANC Precision Engineering. There's myself and Alan on the place. Uh, Slightly head machinist. Uh, generally, it's just all stars. We don't do anything else in here. Uh, started the business seven years ago, now we're eight here. And yeah, things are going well. Yeah, and you've so, obviously got, how many sliding head machines have you got on the shop floor right now? Eight. Eight. Last machine was SR38, really? so yeah. And obviously you guys have been running for eight years, you've got eight eight machines. What kind of components do you make? What markets do you sell to? Um, our biggest markets is probably MOD, uh, marine, telecommunications. We do a bit of oil and gas, we do pretty much everything, um, generally. You'd be surprised what you, you see coming off a sliding head. Some people think it's just nuts and bolts, but far from it, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, exactly. So I was actually amazed. I didn't realize that some of the parts you make here actually go straight up into space, don't they? Correct. Yeah, that's right. Which um, they go into the satellites for an MOD company that's local to us, actually. A lot of goes to America, but they're local. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of amazing some of the stuff you see. It is, yeah. I assume going. you can't talk very much about them. I assume they're quite sensitive. But Correct. they go into space. They're used for, there's something for uh, farming applications as well, like future, futuristic farming applications. That's it. Again, um, I need to be careful what I say, but yeah, yeah, we do parts for a company that are now vertical farming. Um, and again, when you see some of the technology, it's, it's amazing. And again, it's all coming off these machines. So. And it's all done on these star sliding heads? One hat of the machines to the customer, that's it. Yeah, fantastic. Just now, I do see you have absolutely no milling machines. There's eight sliding heads, that's it. And you've got no milling machines. Why is that? Um, well, again, the machines, depend on how complex the part is, you'll be surprised just what these machines can do as far as the milling goes. Uh, we still do a lot of milling. Um, we're currently doing a part on a new machine that's mainly probably 70% milling, uh, and it'll come off in one hat. So. Yeah. So you've recently uh, invested in a new star SR38 sliding head. Now, what does that SR38 allow you to do that you wouldn't otherwise be able to? Uh, again, it's opened up windows for us. We, we had a new customer come on board with some parts that we couldn't do. So we looked at them, Star helped us out and get us some parts to the customer. Went really well, successful there. So why couldn't you do those parts? What, what does it enable, uh, this well, new machine? The, the current machines we had only allowed us to up to 35 mil. These parts were needing 38 mil bars specifically, so yeah. we just couldn't do them. Uh, the volumes were good, the orders were going to be great, so... It was it's amazing that difference in three mil diameter meant you had to buy a completely new machine. That's it. I mean, to be honest, with other other things in the pipeline as well, there have been things that have been turned down in the past. Current customers had other, other things for us, so it made sense, to be honest. But there's also an extra B axis on the machine as well. Did you know that when you bought the machine? Obviously you knew that, but yes. did, that, did that factor into the purchase? We have other parts as well we do for a customer, but we were having to subcon out the angled holes. Now, bringing the new machine in, it's all in-house. So this control. machine solves a lot of problems for you on the shop floor? Several, yeah, and, and more. <laughs> Brilliant. And you make all the parts on in-house? In you? Um, all the parts are made in-house, there's no extra uh, subcon The only thing now. we put out is uh, subcon, plate in, passivation, go put in, which that's it, nothing else. We, we so you, mostly you've time. got full control over the machining process? Yes, yes, which is kind of the way we prefer it. <laughs> Brilliant. And what was the support from Starlight? Now, I know their head office is in Derby. We're here in Dundee. It's about, I don't know, a five-hour drive away. Um, generally, if you need Star here, and if you, if you ask the guys, they'll be here quite quickly. Depending on the breakdown, if you need them desperately, within a day or two, they'll be here. Uh, if it's not desperate, the following week, you'll, there's never any issues. We, I mean. To be honest, I can count on one hand how many things we had to get the guys out, so it's never really an issue. So almost it doesn't really matter how, how good the service is, because they don't break down, but the service is there if you need it. That's it, correct. We, I mean, we very rarely need them, but when we do, there's no issues getting them here when we want them, so yeah, happy. Also, all your eight sliding heads are fitted with uh, long bar feeders. Now, what, what does that allow you to do? Why do they all have these systems? Um, all those uh, machines, when we go out at night and the guys go home, to just continue running. Um, Depending on the volume of the orders we get from a customer, it's none better than coming in the next day and the machine's still running and there's not been any man there all night. So that's sometimes where the money can be made and some of the orders. So how do you achieve the man running? Is it actually quite easy once you've developed a part process, just with the bar feeder, you just put loads of parts, loads of loads Depending of bars on the complexity uh, and the material you're using, that'll depend on how, how far you want to push it overnight. Uh, but again, you get a good feel for a job before you decide what, what you're going to go on man. So yeah. yeah how important is the on man to your business? Well, it allows us to keep the rates down. So keeping the rates down makes us more... Uh, competitive. Competitive, correct. Yeah. So we're more competitive, win more orders. That's what we're here for. <laughs>